Hi everyone, Andy here, and in this video, we're going to do a quick overview of Soho campaigns. With this app, you will be able to send email campaigns to your contacts and leads, as well as creating email sequences and sending text messages. All right, let's get started. This is the dashboard that shows some statistics about the most recent campaign, as well as contacts and other relevant information. If you have multiple people sending campaigns, you can switch to the view between all data and your data. To create a campaign, click on the Create button and then select any of the options. The simplest option is Email Campaign that will send a specific email to a contact list. But you can choose any of the more advanced options like A-B testing that lets you send two different versions of the same email and test which one performs better, or automation that you can use to send a sequence of emails based on the user behavior. For this example, we're going to create an email campaign. Now let's name it and select a topic. You can have multiple topics to organize your campaigns better. This is going to be a marketing campaign. In this page, you're going to be able to set up your campaign. So let's add a subject. We're going to click on save. And we're going to configure the sender. So who is sending this campaign? In this case, it's going to be me, but you can send email campaigns from organization emails like customer at moritoshroofing.com or sales at moritoshroofing.com. And now we're going to add the recipients. I already configured some lists in here, but you have to do this in advance. A list is basically a group of contacts that you want to target with a campaign. I have a lot of different groups here, but for this example, I'm just going to choose this one right here. You can select as many lists as you want. Let's save this. And now we're going to create the email itself. So let's click here. And here we have some options, but for this example, I already have a template. So I'm going to click here where it says save templates. And we're going to use this one right here. It is a simple email, but we can make any changes we want with a text editor. For me, it looks good. So we're going to click here where it says save and next. And the email has been added. At this point, the campaign is ready, but we have one last step. We have to send a campaign for review. You're not going to be able to send a campaign until it was approved by Zoho. If you want to learn more why you have to do this step, you can use this link right here. Once the campaign has been approved, you can either send it right away or schedule it. And that's it. If you send it right away, all the emails are going to be sent to the contact list you picked. Now, let me show you another campaign that I already sent. Here we have some basic information about the campaign, like emails delivered, bounced, unopened, and open. But we can also see a full report with this button. There is a lot of information in the report summary, but you can use the other tabs to learn more about your campaigns. All right, now let me show you other sections of Zoho campaigns. You can send SMS campaigns or text messages campaign, but you will need to have a SMS provider like Twilio or SMS Magic. On the contacts tab, we have all contacts. That is a list of all the contacts we have in the system. You can search for any contact with this button or filter contacts with this other button. You can also import contacts manually here. Then we have lists that are the group of contacts that I have created. When we created the campaign before, I chose one of these lists to send the emails to. Then we have sync services where you can set up integrations to automatically import contacts or leads from other apps. In this case, I only have the CRM set up, but Zoho campaigns integrate with Zendesk, HubSpot, Google Contacts, and more. Okay, let's open segments that are like lists, but they are updated automatically when you make changes to a contact. You can send campaigns either to lists or segments. As you can see, there is a lot going on in the contact section, so I will leave a link in the description where you can find a lot of resources about Zoho campaigns. The next tab is automations, where we can find workflows and autoresponders. In my case, we don't use any automations yet, but you can set them up here. Workflows allows you to set up a sequence of actions that you can trigger when something specific happens. For example, when a lead is added to a list, you can send them a welcome email, followed by another marketing email, and then depending on what the lead does, you can follow up with another email or maybe a text message. You can even decide what to do when the sequence is completed. For example, create a task in the CRM so the sales rep contacts the lead. There are a lot of pre-built templates you can use. The e-commerce tab lets you connect your e-commerce platform with Zoho campaigns, but we don't have an online shop, so that's why it's not set up. In the library, you're going to find your images and any templates you have created, like email templates or workflow templates. 
In the Reports tab, you can see reports of all the campaigns you have sent. Finally, I wanted to show you some of the settings. Under Customization, you can see headers and footers that you can use to customize your email header and footer that can be added automatically to all your emails. In Custom Fields, you can add fields based on the contact information you require. And you can use the new fields to filter contacts and create lists or segments. Under User Control, you can add new users and set permissions. Email lists allow you to set up a max amount of emails a contact will receive in a set period of time. On the integrations, you can see the apps tab, where you can find all the apps that integrate with Zoho CRM. This way you can automatically add contacts from any of these apps directly into campaigns. And on domain authentication, you can find the records you have to add to your domain to verify it. This will improve email delivery so your emails don't end up in the spam folder. All right, I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, please click the like button. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. Zoho Campaigns is part of the Zoho One Suite, so if you would like to check out Zoho One, I will leave a link in the description. Thanks for watching.